sunscreen is the most hands down the most important step of your skincare slash beauty routine what's up you guys so yesterday i was doing a live stream on tiktok and it was so lovely just walking around in the spring sun and showing you guys cherry blossoms and everything but then i went home and i realized that i hadn't put on sunscreen and i could just feel the damage so let's talk about it but only about that let's not talk about my hair i'm gonna do my roots on saturday anyway i'm very passionate about it. so when i hear someone tell me they do not do sunscreen daily or they only apply it when they're going to do some summer water activities i scream inside so this video is going to be super quick super to the point so let's go first of all why you definitely definitely need to use sunscreen daily our skin works to protect us from the harmful ultraviolet radiation which is why we have to use sunscreen to help our skin protect us from the damaging uv rays even on cloudy days even in winter our skin is susceptible our skin is susceptible to the sun rays which can lead to skin cancer discoloration and wrinkles over time my only fear okay only fear that doesn't include foxes never mind don't ask is the fear of cancer or being unhealthy ultimately if there's any way i can cut down on my chances of developing any kind of cancer i will and so should you so what kind of sunscreen do you need? How to apply it? How to apply it with or without makeup? Let's go. Let's talk about the order because that is very important. So first you need to have moisturized skin. So put your moisturizer first. Then you have to wait until it's completely absorbed into your skin. And then you can apply sunscreen on top. How much sunscreen? More than you think. So the simplest way is to use the two finger method. So what you're gonna do is take your fingers and just apply it like this. And this is how much you need. I would actually go one step further and do three fingers. Because little goes a long way is not the case when it comes to sunscreen. A lot goes a long way. And if you're someone who just dip in a little bit and then apply it all over, you're actually not protecting your skin at all. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're not. Moving on. It's best to allow your moisturizer, sunscreen and primer to fully sink into your skin before you apply foundation. So the streakiness, the weirdness, the patchiness, it usually happens because you rush and you don't wait between the steps that you're doing with your face. So always wait until the product is absorbed before you apply the next product. On days when you do not use foundation, make sure you put on your sunscreen at least 15 minutes before you go out for it to actually work. So what type of sunscreen do you need? Today I have brought two to just compare and show you so you can decide what to use depending on what you want your face to look and feel like. So first here is the Etude Sunjone Director's Mineral Filter Sun Cream and this one is the Director's Moisture Sun Cream. So both of these are SPF 50 plus and BA plus 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 plus. So what does that mean? The SPF stands for sun protection factor and the number refers to the amount of protection this product offers compared to a non-protected skin. When it comes to the number, the higher the better. So these numbers are not just random numbers that the company put on there to make these products seem better. These are actually important. And the PA stands for protection grade of UVA. SPF measures only UVB protection, but the PA rating only measures UVA protection. So here you can see the skin color charts and effectiveness and to see just how much protection would be best for your type of skin. So now that we know what's in common, how do these two differ and which one is best for you? Both of them have hypoallergenic clean formula. However, the mineral filter sun cream has non-nano mineral ingredients meaning the particles in this one aren't small enough to actually penetrate the skin making it stay only on the surface of the skin which is generally considered to be more safe it feels thicker and creates a beautiful looking base on your skin it is hydrating but not too much i think it is perfect for the summertime when it comes to the moisturizing sun cream it is more moisturizing so it's gonna leave this dewy healthy glow on your skin it is also a lot easier to wash off personally i would go for this one in the winter time when my skin is feeling drier but for the summer time i would go for the mineral filler sun cream i just love the feeling that it gives it looks very nice and seamless underneath the makeup and just like i love it it feels clean it there's no smell to both of these they just make your skin feel really clean and fresh and i just love it i love it and one more time, make sure you're using enough because this size product should last you around two months tops. But hey, if you want beautiful, glowing, healthy skin long-term, sunscreen is the most, hands down, the most important step of your 
skincare slash beauty routine because let's face it no matter how bomb you are at applying makeup at the end of the day if the skin beneath your makeup is not healthy your face is just gonna keep on getting uglier wrinklier and just unhealthy looking over time if you do not take care of it so please 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 protect your skin thank you healthy skin is beautiful skin healthy skin is what makes us feel confident it makes us shine so do not skip this step let me know your favorite sunscreen product in the comments below and why you like it or you know just leave a sun emoji to interact with this video and help us throughout and if you enjoyed today's video please subscribe join my lovely lovely youtube family and i'm gonna see you in the comments have an amazing rest of your day may it be filled with joy and sunshine and all the good stuff so bye oh this is going nice even I'm quiet. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <clears throat> coming and going and coming and coming. Okay. I am on a mood today. What is wrong with me? Or what is right with me? Okay, moving on. This size of a product should you... Shh.